do you feel that you have low energy no matter how much you rest yes low energy is one of the most common sign or symptom of thyroid dysfunction and in today's video i'm going to uncover the secrets behind why your thyroid is causing you to feel low energy and what are easy steps to get unlimited energy on the daily basis hi i'm dr anshul gupta i'm a functional medicine physician who specializes in thyroid health please hit the bell icon as well as subscribe to my channel so keep on getting this great information in the future also now let's get started so now the important important factor to know over here is that there are different kinds of thyroid dysfunctions it can be low thyroid which is called hypothyroidism it can be elevated thyroid issues like hyperthyroidism or it can be autoimmune thyroid condition like hashimotos or graves disease interesting piece is that all of these conditions have one common symptom which is the low energy the interesting part over here is that when your thyroid is not functioning properly your whole body doesn't function and that is the reason you feel low energy level in hypothyroidism or hashimotos conditions it is the deficiency of thyroid hormone which leads to feeling low thyroid while in hyperthyroidism because it is excessive thyroid hormone which is overburdening your system and that's the reason people feel low energy and then in autoimmune conditions like hashimotos and graves it is the underlying inflammation of your body and your thyroid gland which causes low energy so that is the reason it is very important to understand that doesn't matter which thyroid condition you have low energy can be associated with it now let's understand that why people with thyroid disorder have low energy levels doesn't matter how much you sleep or how much you nap you always feel tired so let's understand that so the very first reason why people with thyroid disorder feel low energy is that thyroid disorders directly affects other hormones in our body so the first hormone it actually affects is the adrenal hormones now adrenals are teeny tiny glands which actually sit on top of your kidneys these adrenal glands produces a hormone called cortisol one of the functions of cortisol is that it helps our body to function properly and also gives us energy it's one of those steroid hormones which our body makes and that's the reason we get good energy almost everybody with a thyroid disorder have adrenal dysfunction that means either their adrenals are producing constantly high levels of cortisol or they have burned down and they are not producing cortisol at all in both of these conditions because we have abnormal levels of cortisol that's the reason our body feels tired and cannot produce energy so that's the number one reason why you're feeling low energy is because of adrenal hormonal dysfunction now the second hormone which thyroid controls is your insulin hormones insulin is secreted to control our blood sugars in the body most people with thyroid disorders have something called insulin resistance what that means is that the thyroid dysfunction doesn't let our body to utilize the insulin hormone or it becomes resistant to it so even though insulin is present but it cannot do its job of processing the sugar in the body and when your processing of the sugar is not happening your vital organs here like your brain like your mitochondria is not getting the sugar while in turn it is being circulated in your bloodstream so that's the reason a lot of people with thyroid disorder also have high a1c or high sugar levels or they have been diagnosed with pre-diabetes because their thyroid hormone is causing the insulin resistance so that's the second reason of feeling tired or not having enough energy the third reason of feeling tired or not having enough energy in thyroid dysfunction is because thyroid affects your mitochondria what is mitochondria mitochondria is a teeny tiny organelle which is present in each and every cell of your body mitochondria is called the powerhouse of your cell the job of mitochondria is to produce energy and there is a connection between thyroid hormone and mitochondria so thyroid hormone directly controls the mitochondria and when your thyroid is not functioning properly your mitochondria is also not functioning properly and that is the reason again you have low energy levels the last reason why you are having low energy levels in thyroid dysfunction is because of high levels of inflammation each and every person with thyroid dysfunction will have high inflammation levels this high inflammation overburdens your body doesn't let your body to function at its optimal levels and when your body is not functioning at the optimal levels it shuts down energy production and that's the reason again doesn't matter how much you're resting your body doesn't feel that it has enough energy so these are all the reasons why you have low energy levels with thyroid dysfunction but now let's talk about what you can do 
to fix all of these problems. The very first thing to remember over here is that the very first meal in your day should be a high protein diet because that's the time your thyroid is going to start functioning in your body and that's the time your body's machinery is going to produce energy. So if you include a high protein diet early in your morning like in your breakfast that's the time you're going to see a good improvement in your energy levels. Now you can do it by either incorporating like chicken, fish or turkey if you do eat meats you know in your morning breakfast. You can do eggs in the morning that will give you good quality protein. If you are a vegan or a vegetarian for that purposes you can include nuts and seeds like chia seeds is great or you can use some protein powders which are vegan in nature made with either chia seeds or brown rice proteins and things okay. You can also do lentils or legumes or beans in the morning again that is going to give you good quality protein in the morning to start your day so that's the first thing you need to do you need to increase a good quality protein in your diet especially in the morning the second thing you need to do is to fix your adrenal gland especially your cortisol hormone for that what you need to do is that you need to incorporate certain supplements one of the supplements which has shown to be useful to improve your adrenal glands and give enough energy is rhodiola rhodiola is what we call as an adaptogen it has been used in centuries in a lot of different cultures. There are several research studies which shows that people who are taking rhodiola in the morning on the regular basis, they see an increase in their energy levels. So incorporate rhodiola as a supplement. The dosage generally varies between 300 to 500 milligrams on the daily basis that can improve the energy levels in the general basis. The second supplement in this category is ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is again another adaptogen which has been used in Ayurvedic medicines for giving stamina to people. Ashwagandha is very nice. Again, Again, giving you a lot of energy if you use it during the day it gives you energy while if you use it in the night it has more calming effect and helps you to sleep properly so if you are using it for energy purposes then make sure you're using ashwagandha during the morning time the typical dosage is 400 to 600 milligrams of ashwagandha a lot of times i have seen that people who are combining ashwagandha with rhodiola actually get better result in terms of their energy production in the morning the next thing you can do to help improve your energy levels is taking another supplement called L-tyrosine. Most people who have a thyroid disorder needs this amino acid called tyrosine. This tyrosine helps to rebalance your thyroid hormones in the body and that's the reason taking tyrosine as an additional amino acid has shown that that can improve energy levels by supporting your thyroid gland. The dosage typically range anywhere from 200 to 500 milligrams of the L-tyrosine that you can use on the regular basis. The next thing you need to do is to fix your mitochondria so you can produce enough amount of energy. For that you need to have good quality diet. What that means is that you need to incorporate good quality protein which I already spoke about and the next thing you need to do is that you also need to incorporate good quality fats which include fatty fishes, which includes olive oil, which includes coconut oil, which includes avocados as well as nuts and seeds like almonds, walnuts, pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds. These all have good fats that are going to support your mitochondria. There are certain supplements which are going to be useful for your mitochondrial health. One of them is called coenzyme Q10. Coenzyme Q10 is one of those uh, supplement which research has shown that it can definitely improve the energy production by supporting the mitochondrial health. So that's the supplement you can use. The next supplement is L-carnitine. The function of L-carnitine is that it helps your mitochondria to burn the fat that is circulated in the body to produce energy. So that's the reason L-carnitine is a great supplement that you can incorporate again on the regular basis that is going to support your mitochondrial health and definitely going to boost your energy energy production in the body. The last thing we need to fix is this high inflammation levels in your body. Unless your inflammation levels go down, your body is not going to produce enough energy. So for that, again, going on an anti-inflammatory diet, that means eating a lot of non-starchy, colorful vegetables, high protein and high good fats is very important. Certain supplements can lower inflammation in the body. One of those important ones is high dose vitamin C. Vitamin C again supports the functioning of mitochondria as well as lowers inflammation in the body because it is a very powerful antioxidant that lowers inflammation. So that's the reason supplementing with vitamin C will be very very useful. So that's the reason incorporate vitamin C as a supplement on the regular basis to see an improvement in your energy levels. So this way you're addressing all of the problems which are causing fatigue. For this I have created a special supplement which has all of these different things added together in different varying proportions and that has shown to be very much useful for 
for people with in my clinic with their energy levels. So if you are in the United States, you can buy this supplement. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel as well as hit the bell icon. Please also share this video with others who you think might benefit from it. Stay healthy, stay happy. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.